Hey guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos, plus so much more over on my blog, chaoticcritic.com. The link is always in the description box. The whole premise of my channel is to share with you guys how I'm crushing the chaos in my life with hopes that you'll be inspired and encouraged to crush the chaos in yours. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a daily plan with me. I have been sharing my weekly planner spreads lately, and this is one of my favorite ones that I shared, which is my twist to the subject layout. I basically took the areas of my life that I have to focus on, whether it's my writing projects, freelance work that I'm doing, YouTube, a running to-do list, what have you, bills I have to pay. So if you guys would like to see how I planned this and set up this layout, I'll link the video below. But I have a busy Saturday ahead of me and I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys how I am mapping that out. The paper that I use is actually cut down from a Staples notebook and I talked about this in my mini happy planner bullet journal setup video which I'll have linked for you guys as well. But I didn't want to go ahead and use a whole page because I really don't need that. So I have this little pad here. It's an oldie but goodie from Target, but you can take any paper and cut it in half. And as you can see, this wasn't even meant for this notebook. It's a lot of just makeshift, cutting down, resizing, punching, and all that. So I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to hole punch it first. And the hole puncher that I use is from Levenger. I'll link it below. You can get it from the Levenger website and you can also get it from Amazon. So this is what I'm going to be working with and I'm going to put the date and it's going to pop right in here. I am going to trim off a little bit of the top even though leaving it on I'd be able to quickly flip to this page but because I have this page flag I don't really need that. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim this part with my paper trimmer. This is a Fiskars one. I've been meaning to get like a longer one so that I could cut longer pieces of paper, but working with what I have. And then now when I put it in here, it doesn't have that overlap. It actually comes down a little bit, which is fine. So I'm going to put the date. I'm going to pull out some stickers similar to how I did the subject layout. I'm just going to go ahead and do it on a daily page. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I went ahead and just pulled out the household sticker book because a lot of what I'm doing today is going to be revolved around cleaning. So I'm just going to put in the date. And I have to look at my calendar to see exactly what today is. All right. I love using my mild liner for just about any and everything. So I'm going to use this little sticker. And this is going to be for the first area that I plan on tackling, which is my guest room. I need to clean all surfaces, donation bags, sweep floor, and take out the trash. All right. And now I have this little one here and I guess I can just actually I'm going to take this chore list and I'm going to use it for the list for my living room. I 
to do the same thing. Um, and I'm just going to add in the floor to that one and next up I'm going to take another one of those stickers like here and just put it here for my bedroom slash office so I need to do laundry and I also need to take out trash and I need to clean carpet plus floor. So basically my office is pretty clean. Thankfully my clean with me actually worked. It's been clean, but I just need to, um, I was working on a project, so I just need to clean the floor a little bit. So there's one side. Now flipping it over, I'm going to go ahead and um, grab another, I guess I could grab one of these. And this is from one of the Happy Planner Washi sticker books. I just want something different on this side. So while I would love to do everything around the house on a Saturday, I'm just targeting areas that I know won't take me too much time and I can still get other things done. I've been avoiding my guest room for a very, very long time, but these are the three areas that I want to focus on. And then as far as my to-do, I'm just going to put in YouTube underneath here and I have videos that I want to film. So I'm trying to think, do I want to do a list or do I just want to go ahead and do I want to do a list? Just the thinking. So I'm going to actually take this to clean list, cut this off. I do this quite a bit. And this is going to be for my filming list. So I'm filming a daily plan with me. And I also need to edit. And I'm going to put a little star next to what needs to be edited. As in what's not already filmed. As in what I need to film and then versus what's already filmed that I need to edit. Does that make sense? Okay, made sense in my brain. Um, I'm also doing a one sticker book plan with me, which should be fun. I'm also doing a half letter revamp and then I need to edit my um, planner and then my desk makeover That's what needs to be edited and I think that's about it as far as what needs to be edited. I don't think I have anything else. So that's that. And then what else do I need to do today? Oh, I also have some writing that I need to do. So I'm just going to get a, another Happy Planner 
sticker book I actually am just going to take one of these laptops and I'm just going to put writing to do fiction I'm working on a fiction project and then I think there was one in here now I can go back in and decorate a little bit more so there is this bless this mess sticker and then I know there's some icons in here if I'm not mistaken or maybe that's the other one okay here we go yep this is what I'm looking for so I'm just gonna put this one for my living room and then this one for my guest room and then this one for my bedroom slash office I'll put that put two here for living room just jazzes up my pages a little bit and then the other thing that I wanted to add on the back of here and I'm just going to put my mild liner as like a little divider Although, washi tape would be cute too. So, I'm actually just gonna grab... This one kinda goes. And I don't mind using this one. I got this from... Where did I get this from? Joanne Fabrics a while ago. I believe that's where I got it from. There we go. I was peeling it the wrong way. And as that kind of overlaps, I will fix that in a second. But as for... Sometimes this tape don't want to stick, but we're going to make it work. So as for what I need to do, stay hydrated and also get some me time. Then as for this, I'm just going to cut it. Hole punch it. Hope that didn't mess it up, but it'll be all right. And then that's it. Back into my planner, it goes. So that wraps it up for this video. Let's quickly go over the stickers I used again. All were from Happy Planner. I used primarily the household sticker book, one from Boss Babe, and then one from this washi sticker book situation. So again, I love just adding a little pop of color. This also is a great way to mix and match your stickers. And for a daily page, it's kind of like the subject layout that I did this week, except I organized it by rooms that I want to tackle. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know down in the comments section, what are your weekend plans? How do you plan on a daily basis would love to hear that and chat with you there also feel free to leave any other questions and suggestions you may have be sure to check out all the links in the description box which will have products i featured related videos and of course the links to the blog and instagram the blog is chaoticcritic.com my instagram is at chaotic critic if you're not subscribed to the chaotic critic fam what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and for all of you that are i thank you i love you guys i appreciate you so much. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!